All right, welcome back to the Patience Trading channel. We are back for another educational, bite-sized beginner trading tutorial here. Make sure you click subscribe. Use the exchange links in the description if you want some exclusive bonuses and deals on some crypto exchanges. But let's get into today's video about how to use TradingView alerts and how to set them up. One of the main issues that people have with trading sometimes is that they have to sit there for hours on end on the chart and watch for trades. Now, with alerts, this uh, can change. This, this makes it easy to actually trigger an alert and get alerted when a trade has opened. So we're gonna be showing you how to do this with the patient's kit, uh, which is our one of our premium indicators. Uh, and then just showing you how to do it in general. So first things first here, we're going to click this alert button right here. So this is where you create alerts. Now you wanna make sure you're on the coin that you actually wanna make the alert for. So we're on Bitcoin against USDT uh, and we're on the five minute chart. It matters what time frame you're on and what symbol Bitcoin against USDT you're on. So. Here we've got the condition, right? So this is how you set up your alert. So the condition is basically under what condition does this alert trigger? So what actually makes the alert trigger? So right now it's Bitcoin USDT. Um, and then you can choose from all of these different settings right here. Uh, and we're gonna show you later on into the video how to do it for the patient's kit. Uh, but this is just how to set an alert for a coin in general. So let's say we want to get into a Bitcoin short when Bitcoin goes up and touches this level again, right? So we think that Bitcoin's gonna go up and touch that level again and actually start dumping after it hits that resistance right here. So we wanna get in right there, right? And, and we wanna set an alert at that price. So let's go to the alert box, select Bitcoin USDT, and we're gonna say crossing right here. We're gonna we're gonna say crossing price of what is this? We're gonna check the price here. Thirty eight thousand one hundred thirty nine. Okay, thirty eight thousand one hundred thirty nine. Now we want to make sure that and it shows your line right there. So it actually shows your alert line, which is very cool. Uh, so once Bitcoin crosses that, it's gonna alert us. And we can now choose only once or every time. So if we think that this is a key resistance level that we need to be alerted of every single time, we can turn it on every time. But in this case, we just wanna hit this short. So we're gonna click only once. And then there's also the expiration. We can put the expiration uh, for a date that this alert expires, or we can just make it an open-ended alert. So this means that there is no uh, ex expiration date. And what you can do is have this, you can simply just wait until this alert triggers uh, and it will work. So now we're gonna type in right here, BTC crossing for short. Okay, that's what we're gonna say on it. Uh, and then it auto loads your message in, but this is the message that's actually gonna come out in the alert. So we're gonna just keep it the same uh, or we're gonna put something like short right now or, um, look look for short <clears throat> now before you click create you want to go over to the notifications tab now this is where you're going to choose where you want the notification or the alert to be sent this is very important so this in app right here notify in app is going to provide you with a push notification on your mobile trading view app and if you haven't downloaded the mobile trading view app it's also very amazing uh, and you can kind of look at charts on the go or in your car or wherever you are so that will give you a notification in the app let's keep that one on this one show pop-up is not one that i use often uh, but this will display an on-site pop-up notification so for this one you have to be on the website so you have to be on trading view and it will pop up on your chart that something is happening this one provides an email notification 
to the email that's uh, uh, specified in your profile settings. So this is one of my most used because I do check my email all the time and, and you know, I have notifications on my phone for my email. So this one can work good if you want to do some some alerts through your email. Now, then we have webhook URL. Now, this is a way that you can get the alerts to be sent to anywhere you want, basically. Anywhere that supports webhooks. So in the patient's premium Discord, uh, the private Discord here, we have some scalping alerts set up right here. And these are based on webhooks. Uh, and these are actually based on the new indicator we're working on for the patient's indicator suite. Um, if you do want to get access, go to the link in the description um, and you can get your membership. But these are based on our new indicator, uh, sending a webhook to show you when to long and short. We also have our get scalping notifications. So essentially what you can do is click on these and you will get notified depending on which time frame scalps you want. You can also do a day of scalping. For example, you can come on here and if you're going to be if you're going to have some time to sit around on the charts and basically get into every single one of these, you can turn the scalping role on in Discord so you'll get notified of all the scalps and then once you're done, you can turn it off. So you can basically have a day of scalping. So that's what webhook URL is for. Anywhere that supports webhooks, you can get that sent to. Uh, you can also, with a platform called Zapier, so Zapier is Z-A-P-I-E-R, you guys can play around with that. You can actually get these sent to your phone and other, other things like that. <clears throat> now, this one is going to play a sound in your trading view. So this one is more if you're active on trading view the whole day, you're going to see, um, you're going to see the sound pop up or hear the sound pop up. This one <clears throat> the next one is send email to SMS. If you turn this on, this is going to uh, send you, oh, it's going to ask me for a code, sends a plain text for SMS to an alternative email. So that's email to SMS. Uh, the most used one here for me is the webhooks and the send email and the in-app notification. But now, once our settings are all good, we're going to click create and boom, we have an alert. Uh, and it's actually showing that we do have that alert right there, uh, which is pretty cool. And then if you want to manage your alerts, you're going to come over to the far right over here and click alerts. And you'll be able to see all of the active alerts that you have active. Um, and you'll also be able to see alerts log right here. Now I'm realizing that this video is a bit long, so we're going to show you the patient's kit in a different one. But this is how you set alerts. Uh, there's many other alert types, right? You can do crossing down greater than. So when the Bitcoin price is greater than a certain amount, when it's entering a channel, so you can put the upper bound and the lower bound. Uh, so you, when it enters that channel, it will notify you when it's exiting a channel, when it's inside a channel, outside a channel, uh, moving up a percentage. So if you want to know if Bitcoin pumped 2% or 5%, you can also do that there. Uh, once per bar close is going to trigger only once when the condition is met. Uh, or sorry, once per bar close is triggering every time the condition is met at bar close. Only once is it will just trigger once. Once per bar uh, is going to trigger once per bar, obviously. And then once per minute, it's not going to trigger more than one time per minute. So that's how you set up alerts. Stay tuned for more tutorials, subscribe, and let's go.